and we have two of the best scorers in the Big Ten, Mello Trimble of Maryland and Peter Jock of Iowa tonight. Yeah, two of the 15 best players probably in the country. Jock is really been here. Peter Jock's a six foot eight kid, can really play, got banged up during the season. He's not quite the same player. Yeah, he had 35 last time out, which is great, but he's going to lead in so many different ways. He's going to be good for I to be good. On the other side of the ledger, there's no doubt that Mello Trimble's one of the best players anywhere. And uh, when he scores, and leads a team, they're only 15 and 2. So it's a good idea to have him lead your team. He's a special player. He's got to lead in a lot of different ways. It's going to be a heck of a battle tonight. And with the day of upsets, let's get it on. <laughs> it has been a wild day already in the Big Ten. You just saw Michigan get a big game from Mo Wagner to beat Purdue. And this building is electric with the 2002 National Championship team in the house to be honored at halftime. It's special, and unfortunately, I lost them to that team. Uh, very good basketball team. We hit Deron Butler and Becker and Ben and a whole bunch of guys, and they're really good. They're a really good basketball team. You can feel some energy like this team thinks it can do something, too. We'll leave those bad memories out of it. We'll Thank talk you. more about Maryland at 32 and 4. And we are underway. Maryland has lost four of six. Iowa with a huge comeback against Indiana on Tuesday at home in overtime. Well, the one thing I was really good at is young enough to forget easy. And, and they sometimes forget during games, and that hurts them. Conversely, I don't think they sit on losses, and that's why they'll come back and have some very big wins. Maryland, because of this guy, I don't care if he missed. I don't think he's quite ready. Regardless, I think they could beat anybody in the Big Ten, and I would not want to see them in the tournament. They've got road wins at Northwestern, at Minnesota, at Michigan. They've won at Iowa already. There's a steal. The turnover leads to two for Anthony Cowan, the freshman from Bowie. Well, and, and you can't have live ball turnovers against a Maryland team. One of their weaknesses, by the way, Maryland, they have plenty of strengths. But one of their weaknesses is they don't defend the fast break well. When you start turning the ball over, it's going to cause an awful lot of problems. Neither team is overly physical. I would say, though, that they're both average rebounding teams. And there's a block shot. Demonte protecting, Dodd. The, protecting the rim. There's Peter Duck on the reload for three. You can't say big in the first minute of the game. Big. <laughs> because it was. You know, he, he, I know he scored big last time, but this is a big moment against a really good team. For a young team like them, they need good things to happen. Especially with the way Iowa started Tuesday against Indiana. They were down 17 to 4, and maybe that's why they're putting on a little pressure here on Maryland early. Yeah, but they were home. And, and, and I do think on the road, in a, in a jacked up building. You know, you, you gotta, as I say, you gotta have some good things happen to you. How in the drop off and Todd to finish. Well, you know, last time they played a 10 point win for Maryland, but one thing that certainly did happen is, is, is that Iowa didn't protect deep. Their second line of defense never protected. We just saw an example of that in an easy bucket. They've got to do a better job building a wall on the second line. That means after the ball handling. When you say building a wall, what do you mean? Well, I mean two or three guys coming together to make sure there's nobody in the paint. They actually did a pretty good shot right here. Herder, bullet pass, Trimble, no. Dodd the rebound. He's going to have to play significant minutes with the injury to Michael Tchaikovsky. And Herder well off the mark, former ball boy actually, for Fran McCaffrey, the head coach at Iowa when McCaffrey was at Siena. Herder's father was a radio analyst at the time, and Fran trying to somehow get his Iowa team to the point where maybe they could run in the Big Ten tournament and make the NCAA tournament. Well, I mean, they have a chance because, once again, they have talent. They might be in Michigan to some degree. They're just not as, as old and experienced. But they have some similarities both. They aren't pure finesse teams, but they're both highly skilled teams. Jordan Bohannon can really shoot. He is 37% for the year, and Fran McCaffrey says he is the least like a freshman of all the young guys. You know, it's funny, you, 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 mistakes he makes, he does a great job of putting it away. He forgets it. Next play, next play, coach. Boy, Iowa really struggles on the defensive glass sometimes, and Justin Jackson made him pay. Well, they really can't. I mean, against a Maryland team who themselves only plus one per game, they're only, they're only plus one per game on the glass, Iowa's minus two. They cannot allow Maryland to dominate the game. Maryland has too many answers to allow them to get easy baskets inside. Good news for Iowa might be the foul on Dodd as Mark Turgeon 
in his sixth season had this team at 20 and 2. They're now 22 and 6. Didn't have the toughest schedule in the non-conference, but boy, have they played well, especially on the road in the Big Ten. You know what they do? They win tight games. <laughs> we looked it up and they, they win tight games. You know what that starts with? Mellow Trimble. You have a great player, he draws people. You know, I say, you know how you know a great player? He can draw two. The only time he draws two, we have one of our teammates over because once two is playing one and this four against three. And that's what the great players can do. And, and Trimble's attitude, boy, I've talked to him two or three times this year, last year. He's a terrific kid. As I said, the only thing he's going to do a little more of, me. He's going to feel like he can really carry his team. He has at times. On the other hand, you want him to be a leader as well, so you have to be selfless. How do you balance that? You know, it's a magic thing. Some kids are terrific players and not so much in the league category. Other guys are good players and great leaders. I was fortunate to have some like Kemba Walker who had both aspects. Those you take and you run with it as long as you, you run hard right? fast as you can. <laughs> Last three games for Mello Trimble, you see the number as he is fourth in the Big Ten in scoring 12 games of 20 or more, and he's been in double figures in every Big Ten game this year. And that's not a surprise. You know, we talk a lot about different kind of players. The reason I like Madeline so much is they've got two players that can get their own shot. Okay? Trimble certainly can, and obviously Cowan can. Here is you, Cowan. Yeah, you, you like that. You create your own shot, it just makes your team so much harder to guide. It's behind the back dribble. I didn't Isaiah like, Moss. I didn't like the shot. I mean, okay, he dribbled it high. I don't know if he traveled or not. That's what Trimble does really well. Mello Trimble to the rim. Uh, you know what he does? If you'll see it at the top of the key, just a pause think. He didn't stop. It's a pause. Blew by two guys. Would you call that an NBA type move? Would you call it a heck of a player. <laughs> but yeah, it's the kind of move you're going to need. You just can't. The old jab step doesn't work against these great players. Jack the fadeaway and off the mark for Peter Jock, who had 15 in overtime on Tuesday night. Who you think is one of the best pure shooters you've seen this year, right? Oh, yeah. Peter Jock's a terrific shooter. I think when he, when he gets back healthy, fully healthy, I mean, he's a terrific prospect, in my opinion. Nice skip, open look. Jackson sinks it. That's a nice piece to have as a uh, freshman. Can rebound and run. Six foot seven. Can, can really shoot the ball. Out of East York, Ontario. He comes from Canada. And my goodness, Jordan Bohannon, when he gets going early, look out. I can see the, I can see the ice cubes right now. He's a cool cat. He really is. Because he, he doesn't even have an expression on his face. You remember seeing his brothers play, especially Jason yes. at Wisconsin. Jock open, rare miss there. And over the top of Bear, Herder gets a hand on it. They just stopped this end to end. They've got to stop that. And they're going to leave him. Neither happened there. No, Trimble. And, and, but that's what they, they, you know, the young team in many ways, I'm sure Franz told us a million times, you know, yeah, you can touch a shot. But Bender leaning. Yvonne Bender to it. They're playing so small inside to try to protect the three. To get out to the three, they're getting beat on the inside. They've got to shore that up. They get a bit of wall in the paint. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by Duluth Trading. Highly capable workwear designed and tested by tradesmen. Welcome back to the Xfinity Center. We are all knotted up at 13 apiece. The Terps right now are in a four games in 10 days run. And so to help with the fatigue that his team is dealing with, Coach Mark Churchill changed things up a bit this week. He gave his team Thursday off, and then he canceled shoot around completely today. He allowed his team to come in and shoot on their own. He said the idea with this, and he said it a couple times this season, is that he wants his guys to rest as much as they can. At this point in the season, he says it's not just us. Every team's dealing with it. And with the three freshmen in the starting lineup. These are guys that are used to being in their state championships right now, not in the middle of a regular season. So at this point, you kind of got to manage the schedule and do what you can, Jason. Chris, good to have you along. Thank you for that. Maryland has lost four of six. Coach, late in the season, young players transitioning from high school. How do you handle that? Well, you handle the best you can. I think what Marcus doing is great. I think you give him off, push him harder. 
more intense, less time, whatever it may be. The one thing I'm not a guy who plays, but I think they like playing games, better practice. It's my practice. So, <laughs> the big deal is, is that we had a pretty good team that won five games, five days against uh, four top 20 teams to win the Big East Championship. Not that, and that's late in the season. Not that that's the answer, because that's a different deal. But we had six freshmen on that team, two sophomores and a kid in Kimber Walker. And my point being is that kids love to play. I, I, I think success helps. And I think, once again, the attitude and leadership of the team helps. I always kept saying, would you rather play or practice? <laughs> That's an easy answer, right? For everybody. Bear for three. Right. Nicholas Bear has been outstanding. The former walk-on for Iowa sakes the three. I hope Nicholas takes us the right way. My, one of my favorite junkyard dogs in all of basketball. He does so many things. He's on the floor. He's the leading offensive rebounder. He guards people. He's a good player. And he's going to, like everybody else, have to stick their nose in. He's really the junkyard bear more than the junkyard dog. Right? Well, he is. Uh, uh, Jalen Bradley for three. <laughs> I won't get caught up in the semantics contest about what type of animal he is, but um, nice move. That's a nice move. You know, he did a great job of feeling. Little hook went to his left hand. Really good move. Caught it low, but caught it low, which is very important. Tyler Cook has a third of the points for Iowa. So far, the freshman who at points Tuesday night had trouble finishing, got to the rim, but couldn't finish. There he did. And, you know, I'm sure that right after that game, the next day of practice, probably took time with coaches and he just worked on simple moves. He's a very good player. Cooking is a very good freshman. Brantley, no. And, and Bohannon. That's not an ideal three because he's contesting it, therefore he's not going towards the rim. There's a drive for Cordell Pemsel, the freshman out of Dubuque, who only played 18 minutes in the first meeting. It shows you that, yeah, that Fran was thinking like we were. 10 out of the third, first 13 points that Maryland scored were in the paint. So now you see a big front line, the two bigs, and then, and because they, cannot, they can't win the game unless they're going to take that paint down. I don't like the ball at the high post either. Let me ask you this. How does Melo Trimble attack this zone? He's going to try to do, get some penetration in the gap like that. He drew the he drew the wing to him, and the baseman slid over. He thought he was going to get full penetration and kick to the corner. I was really attacking the post, and Cook missed the slam over Bender. I love the move, though. He keeps doing that. He's going to have some success, certainly. Open look in the corner. Good for Nickens. I think the building was awake. Now it's, now it's more than awake. It's screaming. Couple of threes for Nickens, and now the answer for Iowa. My, oh, my. Bohannon and the Hawkeyes are scorching from three. Talk about a guy by the way, get a shot off. He does it actually by being shot ready. He's not as quick as the two guards at, at Maryland, but he has a quick, quick release. He gets into a shot, and in other words, you call it being shot ready before you shoot the ball. Talk about good shooters. Juan Dixon was a pretty good shooter. Steve Blake was a pretty good Steve shooter. Steve Blake was a pretty good shooter. You got a face full of 2002. That, that's not our one big thing. The run of this team all the way to the championship is. We'll tell you about them after this. Thing tonight is the 15th anniversary of Juan Dixon and Maryland in the 2002 championship beating Kansas and Indiana in the Final Four. They're being honored the 15th anniversary. They lost four times all year. Once was in the opener to Arizona and Luke Walton of the Conference of Champions. And there's Gary Williams. By the way, 15 years ago, did you and Gary ever think that you both would be analysts? Gary's doing some local work in the studio as well. Well, we had a lot, both had a lot to say. <laughs> did you? So I guess conversely, when you spend that many years on the sidelines, you say a lot. You played against this team. How good were they? They were so good because Gary wouldn't let them quit. That press, his offense and that press, that's what he ran. He knew coming into the game what they were going to do. They are going to pick you up full court. Uh, they are going to run the California inside series time and time again. And he, he coached his kids as hard as anybody I've ever seen. Really? Oh, no question. And they were tough. They were very tough to play. You know, two, ch two chances at in a couple of years. and got the big, big W. As he said, we talked about it. You don't ever forget that. What's that first one like? I don't know. I thought it was gone all day. I kept waking up every 10 minutes and, <laughs> and look at the toy with my wife and said, hey, you know, I'm not Phil Murray on you, but look at this. It happened. 
Ten minutes later, same thing. Still there. And like up in the morning, son of a gun, still there. That's amazing. It was a good one right Kevin Herter. No. Dodd got a mid on the rebound, but couldn't pry it away from Pencil in Iowa. That was a oh, bad pass. Herter, the intercept. Herter to the rip. There was no need for that pass. None. My ball turnover. And, and all of as coaches have talk and consider and all the different things about substitutions. But you get some rhythm going, and they, they've only played nine minutes. You know what I'm saying? Yep. It's hard to jump into this kind of the game. is a high level game. A lot of subs for Iowa right now. Christian Williams, Brady Ellingson, Ryan Green are all on the floor for Fran McCaffrey, and that's whipped wide and out of bounds. Well, he did this all the time. Siena College. Uh, you know, he, he's always been a guy who played ten folks, particularly to start the game. He played 12 guys in the first 345 Fran McCaffrey did on Tuesday night against Indiana. I can't count that high. 10 was my limit. <laughs> was it? No. No, I, 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 I would take you out because I was upset early. I really would. And I'd keep you there for 30 seconds. Matter of fact, I took Karan Butler out, and I don't want to tell stories in a great game. One time, 32 seconds in. And he could never get over it. He knew he sees me now. What could I have done wrong? I said, I was thinking what you might later on do wrong. <laughs> I, didn't like your, I didn't like your attitude. He said, 32 seconds? He was one of the great kids of all time. That great was player. kind of the mode Fran McCaffrey was in on Tuesday, right, Chris? Yeah, Jason, I was talking with him about how do you keep a guy's confidence when you're subbing so liberally, especially since some of these guys are so young. He said, listen, I'm just very frank with them and out front. I don't berate them. I don't yell at their face. I just tell them, you're not playing good. You're sitting on the bench. And they know because I'm consistent with that that they'll get a chance to go back in. But he did joke with us earlier today. Hey, it's nice to be able to play 12 guys. He said a few years ago, if I had gotten to the number seven guy, it was bad. Yeah, he said he just had to call timeout. He said because he didn't have anybody else to put in. As you know, I'm a guy, a rhythm guy, in many, many ways basketball was. It, the game's about rhythm. And on the dance floor. And on the dance floor, as you, as you might see later. But regardless, regardless. The more important thing. Look is, at all those. I mean, yeah, don't lose league. momentum. And I'm not sure he hasn't, obviously. It's a, you know, a one point lead. I just worried about it. He doesn't. And I'm sure these kids are used to it. The big thing is, he said it best. His kids know why and what he's doing. And that's very important. He's consistent every game. Whether it be Peter Jock or anybody in that team, well, Hammond makes three threes and he's out. There. Jackson pinned to the corner, passes out of the double for Dodd. And Cowan declined to take the three. Cowan double dribble. Yeah, he did double dribble. Gene's laughing because he's there, too. He's laughing. <laughs> Gene knew it. Uh, the call came from the other side, Lamont Simpson. Tonight on ESPN, two more huge games for you to count on tonight. That was easy. Will, will you and Gene hold your conversation for when I'm done well, with Colo? <laughs> Sorry. 8.15 Eastern, UCLA in Arizona, then BYU at Gonzaga. 10.15, it's streaming live on the ESPN app. And watch ESPN. Gene, I have a little bit of a, a laugh about it because I'm not coaching anymore, so it doesn't hurt. Yeah, you get to laugh with him <laughs> no, now, right? No, it just was such a, we both said the same thing. It just looks so awkward. Williams hanging and left it short. Christian Williams, who had 10 points on Tuesday night in that win against Indiana. Well, you know, uh, you got to show me what you can do, what you can't do. Don't show me what you can't do. That time, he's trying to create that that position. He's just not that kind of player. He's going to get open shots off the offense. Jock the steal. A lot of turnovers right now for Maryland, more than I thought they would have. An open floor game. Exactly right. And they have two of the better guards in the league. Maybe the best guy in the league in trouble. Senior on freshman, and Cowan forced Jock to give it up. But he gave it up. He didn't try to show him something he can't do. He can do this one. Jock over Trimble. No. Rebound for Dom Yule. Out to Ellingson for three. Brady Ellingson. And Fran was telling me way back when the season began that he's one of the best shooters on the team. And he has been. He's, in fact, the best three-point shooter in the Big Ten, over 50% for the year. Herter in rhythm has the answer. And that's what happens when you start getting to the rim. You, you sink to defense. When you sink to defense, the three-point line gets open. You've got to send one at the ball and four to protect. That time, they had four protecting. Got to get someone out and chase them off the three-point line. You can't let Maryland make threes. 11 combined threes in this one.
Since we're here getting ready for this flash mob during the break, <laughs> yep. dating before 4 o'clock for a 6 o'clock game. And we got involved in the mannequin challenge as well. Well, a little bit. I, I don't know how dramatic it was for us, but these kids worked harder than most basketball teams getting ready for a game. Our not timing was poor. But our timing wasn't real good. And, and I, I think the kids liked the words, but, but couldn't dance to it. Oh. So That's here's the thing. <laughs> that sorry, mannequin so challenge is the longest that you've gone without speaking all season long, I think. It may be. It very well may be. And I'm going to try to cure that in about two seconds. <laughs> This is cool, though. This was great fun to watch them prepare for before the game, and Cook had it blocked. Ellingson gets it back. Pulled his hand out too quick, but he could shoot it. Ellingson, you're saying? Yeah, he was going backwards. He needed to extend his hand and hold it. He pulled it back. You know, I don't do that when they're practicing. You just get near them and just keep stop them, show it to them. But I don't like do it when they're shooting the ball. I like to keep talking to them. Feel like you're going into the hands going into the basket. Hand goes into the basket. So you're saying before they're shooting or on tape, something yeah, like that? Yeah, you, you don't know what they shoot. This is shooting. You want them thinking about a thousand things. You want them shooting the basketball. You always start with getting shot ready. By the way, I like what, what, what I was trying to do. They're definitely trying to establish a low post game. They have. By the way, I talked about that substitution. They've scored 16 points off the bench. I think that Fran McCaffrey guy knows something. You think he knows his team a little bit? Yeah, he's a good coach. He's a real good coach. Oh, no! Oh, Cook! Yeah, see, I love this stuff because this is not the Iowa team we always see, correct? They're minus two in the glass. They're, they're a tougher, more physical team today, which is great. It and gives by them the a much way, better chance. By the way, they're six out of eight from three anyway. That kind of helps them. See. Up top, Nickens. He's got a couple threes. That one wouldn't fall for him. Well, it, it, if I'm a betting man right now, I like what I was doing. Peter Chuck, catch like and what, shoot. I love what Peter Chuck just did. You know, that's my guy, as Fran just said. No, I, I, I mean, they made a good adjustment defense to the heck with. We're going to get up on three points, but not, not get up, knock the way out. Jam the middle. Peter Jock in rhythm. Look out. Leading scorer in the Big Ten, sinks another. Has beaten Iowa State and Purdue this year. Some big wins for the Hawkeyes and trying to get hot leading into March. Up by six out of the timeout. Justin Jackson cuts into the lead. You know, he takes his time, but that I mean, he's not shooting slow. He's getting shot ready before he gets the ball. And when he catches it, he gets into a shot really nice. Square feet, not drifting. Good job. He's a terrific looking prospect. We've and seen right 13 now, like, threes already. And, and by the way, not bad. He's a good player right now. Out of bounds off of Iowa and Bohannon. Yep. Look at this. This is going to be a nice example of a real good pick. Then gets loose and pop up. Look, look how square he was. And where was he going? Same place the ball was, towards the rim. We got Maryland a couple points. Another turnover, though, for the Terps. It took a while to get their first one. That's their fourth now as Bender is called for a rare foul in this game. I've seen Iowa. You probably have two TV, three, four games I've done with them. We practice. were there together, actually, exactly. in December. Iowa State. But point being, I've never seen them pound the ball in like this. I guess they're obviously a very good Maryland team. Bohannon. I kind of oh, like, my goodness. He's a freshman, right? He you is. Know, he's a good one, too. You wouldn't know, would you? No. On the road, stepping up. You've had players who are the second to come through college basketball. He is the fourth of the Bohannon brothers to play D1 basketball. He's, by the way, there's nice help by John to stop penetration by mellow trouble. He got over me the kickout pass. And that's what I'm talking about, that second line. Be down low to make that second line defense. Show. You always have to go, but at least show that he'll think you're going to be there. To your point, by the way, Mello Trimble in the first meeting, yes, he had 20 points against Iowa, but only three attempts from inside three-point range. When they, when they close it off like this, and I say, find the wall of the paint, and then and one, one sprints out to the three, you, you close out, you've got to make sure that that, that that wall shows back stunt. They don't know if you're coming, but they see it. You gotta make them see it to hold the wall. How about 
better. January 19th, 7 of 28. They've already had more threes today than they did that night in Iowa City. I like the way they move the ball. I mean, would you, I think they're both of you. They, they're in pretty good place right now. Pretty confident. Yeah, not forgetting about the post players at all. Here's Cook. Across the lane, deflected, and taken away by Cowan in Maryland. Cowan all the way through. He went by a couple of points. He's one of the quickest kids you're going to see. Great catch. Cook to the corner. Ellingson, no. You've seen some guards. Cowan's pretty good as a freshman, isn't he? He's terrific. I really like him. I like, I like the fact that both him and both him don't play like freshmen. You know what? They're not freshmen here. You know what I mean? They're playing. You're not gotten the freshman, you gotten zero. <laughs> you know? At some point, they've had enough experience, right? Oh, no question. In, in today's day, maybe just kids from all over the country to play, sometimes all over the world. Jackson hit the underside of the basket with that pass. Good job by Ellington rotating over and take that pass away. From him. They're trying to clean the post and get no help. Cook had knocked away. They refeed with Ewell to Cook. And Cook goes to work for two and a foul. Wow. There's no other words of wow. I mean, he's playing like a big time player. The young kid, he's going towards the rim. Here's where he uses the ball. What's the body first? Body and then ball. So you can't block that shot because you're going backwards. Love how he threw his body into That is another freshman for Fran McCaffrey. You talk about what he's going to lose. It's only one guy. It's a big one, Peter Jock, the senior. But there are a lot of talented players on that bench. These kids should understand after the season, whatever comes, the play will enough now to happen. But more importantly, more importantly, uh, I was going to be very good. I was going to be very good. I, lo I love these young kids. Fran McCaffrey has a commitment from a kid in the D.C. area, actually, Luca Garza, who's averaging a double-double and scheduled to come to Iowa next year. Should Trimble and Maryland be attacking the zone? Well, they did the, they did the right move first. I'm not sure about the shot because he's going away from the basket. They get the ball in the middle of the zone, which means it collapsed. That means low. Wow. Bohannon's got supreme confidence. Uh, and he's got license. <laughs> there is a big green light there, but a nice pass. Inside again, and boy, Cook has been a mammoth for Iowa in this first half. But they're looking for him. You know, people say, well, they got the, you know, they throw the ball. Yeah, because he's open. Terrific play. And watch his finish. Nice and strong and up and gets one. Bonnie Riley photography collaboration continues <laughs> to pay dividends. You saw that was Ahmad Wagner with the regular phone, and then Riley Till with the $5 bill phone, and then Justin Jackson with the five sign. Thanks for that sequence, guys. That was a fun team. Coming up, Land Rover Halftime Report, Big Ten dance card, then some top 25 teams in action as well. How about Kentucky and Florida? Yeah, that was a dandy of a game. Florida looked pretty good for a while. I, I think on a neutral site that, that Florida can beat them. They have obviously once already, but, but I, I think Florida, obviously Mike White's done a tremendous job coaching there. I mean, there's teams in that league that are, that are better. The Southeast Conference beyond Kentucky isn't considered great right now. Not a deep team. No, but it, it does have some pretty good teams. Vanderbilt can be really a pain enough to play, too. Tennessee, Rick Barnes got that thing turned around. Boy, Heading in the right league. direction. Heading the right direction. I've known Rick for a lot of years back in the Big East. Really good coach. Terrific guy. Tyler Cook to complete the three-point play. He has 13 points and five rebounds. Both teams shooting 50% in the early going. A little one through one action. Let's see how long they stay with it. Really extended out here. You think you want to crisscross it, or then exit across the court, or throw it to the middle. They throw it to the middle. There's the middle. Yeah. Trimble to the wing. Herder. And a foul on the rebound. I don't like the call as a box out. I'm going to tell you, I, I, I got to see it live uh, in videotape, please, because that looked like a pretty good box up. We have that technology. Here it is. What are you supposed to do? Uh, well, you're supposed to run out of the way, I guess, if the guy goes back in. You, but that's not going to happen. And Bohannon, by the way, is six foot tall. Bender is six nine. Good luck. Herder pivots it out. Trimble. He's been unfortunate a couple times. That was a big time rebound, too, by the way. 
Cook goes high for it, and that is going to be a foul. You know what? I've watched Maryland this year. We talked a lot of before. I don't remember the ball being in the paint. Uh, anybody, maybe Purdue once, like one game I remember with Bagley. But they are getting beat up in the paint after the, what, first four or five minutes of the game. The ball in the paint has been reversed. Wagner's checked in for Iowa along with Cook down low. Ahmad Wagner who only played 10 minutes in the game Tuesday and 15 minutes in the first meeting. Jock off the overplay by Trimble. Nice recovery. Well, that's what I said. You know, he, he can put the ball in the deck. Another slam that wouldn't go for Iowa and Cook. I like to play on. He might get bumped a little bit, but I like to play on. Here's the missed dunk. Play on. He kind of slipped a little bit, and that's where his harm came down. Verticality. Exactly. When they call like that, it's funny. Maryland down nine. Plus back to back games. Now we're back two, three. And now just matching up on the wings. Ooh. I tell you, that middle row is going to cause more problems for Iowa. They're going to have to show up the middle if they're going to continue to play zone. Who would you put in the middle if you're Iowa? Defensively? Zone, yeah. Well, what they did is they put Herter in. They're one of the best players they have, passing, shooting. And that becomes uh, problematic when they've been going inside and beating you up early in the game. So I, I probably wouldn't. I'd, I'd maybe go to a, a little different extent, more like a Syracuse. High two three. Tell you about NBA Saturday primetime on ABC. The Bulls and the Cavs. LeBron has been questionable for that game. 8:30 Eastern time. Coverage tips with NBA countdown at 8 Eastern. Not long from now, you can watch it live on the ESPN app and watch ESPN. LG Gill at the free throw line. The senior from Virginia gets a couple. Bohannon has been very good in this first half, and he threads it in down low for Cook again. He's been better than pretty good. He's been tremendous. He's finding that seam. You know, when he gets the ball, he's looking he drop, drop step, down, hook step across. He's really feeling his defensive man out. Did you expect Iowa to go down low this time? No, not at all. In the early part of the game, they didn't. And then they kind of turns the tables on Mountain, who early beat them in the paint. Ten, ten out of their first 16 points. Five to shoot. Trimble winding through. Kick out. Open look. By the Wouldn't way, go. the second line appeared, which made Trimble pass the basketball. And a good pass. They've kept him away from the rim. Trimble, that is. And Ahmad Wagner and Iowa get two more. They're going to have to send somebody down double. They just can't. You said what, what, what did the Mark Children do? No. You can't just allow the naked post, which it is right now. I know they're putting four on the three points, but right now they're beating up very badly on the three point line. Bender the kick, and Jalen Brantley knocks that one down. You know, Brantley's one of those guys who didn't play early, and as a player, but son of a gun, he's worked his way to be a, a very, very good guy off the bench. And everybody needs that spark off the bench. When the ball gets in, see four guys in playing defense, they all sag in, they suck the defense in, and the pass out for the three. I like, that's another way to beat it, obviously. Jalen Brantley, a young man who started his college career by committing to Marshall, never played. Tom Harrion was fired and then ended up coming to Maryland as he had to deal with a lot of tragedy in his life, didn't have the grades necessarily to qualify, went to community college and ended up here in Maryland. And he has paid some dividends for Mark Turgeon. i tell you what I like about him, because I was talking with, with Mark about him, Mark Turgeon. I like kids who have had no sets in a few times by life. Yeah. Yeah, it's not, I don't want bad things to happen. That's not what I'm talking about. But he knows, he knows the meaning of his education. He knows his meaning of his experience here at Maryland. I mean, you know, not everybody should have bad things happen to him. But he's going to be in handle life pretty good. How about that from Trimble? You like that work yeah, that he did? Yeah, three times I've thrown it out, or four times. Only one time did we, did we get a basket out of it. I'm going to take it to the room. And there aren't shot blockers, really. Classic shot blockers for Iowa. 
when you're talking about leadership, that's the type of thing from Mello Trimble, decision making. Right, you, you, you don't write that down. That's not a play, that's not an X or an O. That's seeing the opportunity. I gotta do that to the rim. By the way, the two guards average 10 foul shots a game. I have no idea what they have right now, but that's what they need to do. Trimble and Cowan you're talking about? Yes. Trimble, that was his first shot from the line, and Cowan has not taken one. Maryland's got four free throws attempted all game long. Well, because I mean, they rely on the three-point shot. And he scored early, easy, without being fouled. If you're watching this game and you're a possible opponent for Maryland in the NCAA tournament, you're playing zone, right? I'd have to think about it, certainly. I, I, the one thing is they do move the ball very well, and if they're shooting well, you got to change. But, but yeah, if they're going to if they're gonna try to beat me on a, like a Michigan Canton on a three-point shooting contest, as opposed to beat me up and I'm not really big and physical, yeah. I definitely would try to play zone. I extend it. I go back to some man at times. See, Trimble and Cowan are uh, such a tough matchup because they can go by folks. And as I said before, when you go by folks, the first game, let me go back to that quickly, the pick and roll kills Iowa. Yep. And not many pick and rolls against this zone. Free throw is good for Trimble. He only has three points in this first half. And some pressure put on by the Terrapins as Jock has to go high for it. Turnover taken away by Brantley. Changing the speed of the game. The pace of the game got quick. And just all of a sudden, everybody's playing at a certain speed. And everybody kind of <laughs> can't speed up automatically. That's just a lazy turnover. Not lazy in the sense he wasn't trying. Lazy in the sense the game was, was a different type of game. Technically unsound. Though. Exactly right. Moss gives it up to freshman. Wagner. Chalk has a second, and he didn't get it off. Well, that was good defense. I mean, give Maryland a lot of credit because all they did is scramble. They kept just running after the ball, and Iowa didn't have time to get anything off. Iowa holding Mello Trimble down, one of the top four scorers in the Big Ten. He has just three. And Iowa leads their head coach, Fran McCaffrey, with Chris Button. Coach freshman Tyler Cook already with 15 points. What has he done this first half to lead your offense? He's just really working. He's sprinting the floor. He's posting up hard. He's being aggressive to the glass. You guys have relied so heavily on the three this first half. Going forward in this kind of atmosphere, what do you need to do to sustain this lead in the second half? Well, we got to be locked in defensively. You know, I thought our defense was okay. Uh, if we're going to be in the zone, we got to be a little more active. We've got to continue to rebound. We've got to continue to move the ball. Appreciate it. Thanks. 15 points for Tyler Cook in this first half for Fran McCaffrey and Iowa. Hawkeyes trying to get to 500 in the league. They're up seven. We'll join Andy Katz in the studio after this. Okay. Preparation was intense here at College Park for the flash mob in game and the synchronized dance has not had Maryland take the lead recently. Iowa by seven at the half as we take a look at tonight's high flyer brought to you by Southwest Airlines. He was not doing the mannequin challenge in that first half. No, he clearly was doing more than that. I'll tell you what he did a great job. He beat everybody down the floor, then got good post position, did his work early, and then he finished strong to the rim. And another thing, his teammates, and I saw to his friend, uh, they found him. They found him early. He got confidence, and he's been tough, tough to stop. I got a feeling that you may see a double team or something, at least by Mark. They can't just allow Cook to be naked in the post. Well, you talked about the leadership when we came on the air. Mello Trimble, Peter Jock, how do you assess that so far? Well, I mean, Mello, I think, has got to do a little more. And the zone seems to have stopped the entire team, not only him. And Jock, I think, has done a good job. I think he got rid of the ball when he should have. He hasn't taken a bad shot. And he's trying to lead, and he's thrown a couple of those big post passes, too. Check in with Chris Button. Yeah, well, you guys were talking about Cook. I talked with Coach Surgeon during the halftime, and he says his biggest concern right now was Jordan Bohannon. And they, defensively, he's really unhappy with the transition. And the other stat that he pointed out was the second chance points. When you look at what Iowa has, 16 second chance points. So that's what he pointed out. And you guys talk about leadership, though. I've been watching this bench. There is not a lot of communication, a lot of rah-rah going on in the Maryland bench this first half. Communication is big, right, Coach? Well, communication is very big, but sometimes in the midst of the game when you beat a team already and it starts out pretty well for you, you know, there's a lot of silence, <laughs> you know, and silence does kill. 
I mean, you've got to make sure that we talk to each other. A lot of threes from Maryland in that first half. They took 23 point shots compared to 12 from two, and they started this half with a made three from Kevin Herter. I don't know if they can beat him by shooting three point shots, just three point shots. I mean, they're, they're a complete basketball team. Bohannon, oh my goodness, he is lethal. I might have said something else, but. <laughs> But Ron, you would be upset with me, but most importantly, <laughs> but that was, I have no idea how he even got it off, but you said before, not only is he cool, he's terrific confidence. You'd never say anything like that on the sideline. High low to Jackson, and he'll go to the free throw line. And it looks like check for tap, doesn't it? And he says, if you can do that for me, I can do it to you. But watch, he starts losing the ball a little bit, can't quite find it, but then he found the rim. And then, by the way, the dribble really cleared him, gave him space to shoot the ball. Former Iowa Mr. Basketball Gatorade Player of the Year, five out of six from three. And now his 23rd consecutive start in his freshman season. Well, you know, you think about all these young kids out there. You, you see a, a, a kid like Bohannon, he's not the greatest guy in the country. I tell you what, his dribble's quick, though. He can transport himself from places in, in, on the court from one to the other real quick. When you talk about a quick dribble, what do you mean? Well, I mean, he uses dribble low. And it's, it, instead of just dribbling and pounding the ball, he lets it take him someplace. I, I can't say how many more times I tell kids that. Make sure your dribble takes you someplace. Bohannon takes it to the elbow and misses in a foul against Iowa. Yeah, I thought that was a little forced the first time I seen a force. The league shot, shot clock is fine. But that was a little forced. He can get a better shot. Rand McCaffrey doesn't like the second foul against Cook, the freshman out of St. Louis, and Chaminade Prep. It could have been a play on, in my opinion. Especially with the way the game went in the first half. <laughs> right. Don't change it now. Trimble drive and dish. And it's out of bounds to Maryland. They're, they're looking inside more. They may, I know they've made it three, but they're still trying to get into the post. Obviously, they like to get Cook in foul trouble. That's where DeMonte Dodd was in that first half. He had two personal fouls, didn't play very much at all the first half, and only had two points. Well, he is big body, he's experienced. He's given him good minutes over the years, so the bottom line is they, they need a big body there. Cowan with five. Jackson, extra feed, Herter. That's a hard shot. Dodd, oh, and it blocked by Cook. That's a hard shot. That's a very, very hard shot. That little six-foot baby jump, uh, jump shot. Kids don't make me, you don't take me those shots. You take long and you take shot. But the in between shot on the baseline is a difficult one. Look at the stare down from Cook. We heard that he was doing a little talking during the game. Just wanted to let his opponent know what was happening. A little chit chat Makes from sense. the freshman. Trimble goes to work. Sliding through. Dodd. No! Third chance coming, maybe. Don't put it down. You become the smallest guy in the court. Don't put it down. The ball goes down, you become the smallest guy in the court. Keep it up around your chest. See, it happens so much. Well, you, I always tell my kids, you, if you do a good job of keeping the ball up, the only thing they see is your elbows. Cowan on the accelerator, lost the ball. I thought he did too. And it's going to be Maryland possession. Here's the nice rebound. Nope. Once it gets to the waist, it's everybody's game. Even you know, even a small guy. You've got the size, right? Six eleven. He made himself five two. I can hear the I can hear the anguish in your voice as a coach. You see that happen? It frustrates you. I'm, even the great ones like a Mecca and all the really terrific kids that he had. I never wanted you to play small. Dribble, triggers. His shot just hasn't been there today. You know, you're 100% right. I, I, I can't give it a technical evaluation. Nice pass. Actually, I love the finish, too. Wagner couldn't get it and bear the rebound. I'll tell you, Wagner's got a couple tricks. He's not really big. He's not to the postman or even power forward, but he does some tricks in there. And I love players with tricks. <laughs> Guys that can screw around the room. Trimble, yeah, that's a foul. That's a right call. Second foul on Mello Trimble. And what happens is, is game's not going well, ball's not going well, so you try to go too fast too soon, and 
Trimble's too good a player to do it. He's one for seven of the game, three points. And again, five of those seven shots, Coach, have been from three-point range. Exactly. He's got the rim a few times, but even then, because of the good job by Iowa recently of, of sagging. Nearly taken away by Brantley. Bohannon makes him pay! I think he might look at that. Six threes for Jordan Bohannon in seven shots from outside. I saw him. That's pretty efficient, wouldn't you think? Yeah, yeah, that's real good. Take it away. Bear the push. Nice pass. Moss, the finish. That was a classic fast break. Well done. That was a great three on two. And then the after pass made an easy lay about it. Well done, Iowa. Well done. Your thoughts on Jordan Bohannon today? Jordan Bohannon is playing absolutely terrific. And I love, I, I, I love the passion he plays with. With that, with that Clint Eastwood steer. <laughs> You're saying he's got a little Clint in him. Well, he's got, the, he's got, you know, make my day kind of thing. <laughs>
doing the talking in the huddle. Cook. Yeah, as long as it's a good one. <laughs> By that I mean he has good things to say. You gotta be careful sometimes the kids talking. One guy might think you, like from a coach, I'll take it from you, coach, but not from him. And I mean it honestly. In the midst of the game, things happen. We know that. But no, I mean, it, I mean, I like to ask a player, what do you think? What do you think? Do you take their suggestion? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Here's Trimble for Maryland down 13. I tell you what, they, they, they're doing something a little different. It's good pass. Cook leading the break. You can't let that happen. You can't let him run rim to rim and get a layup. That cannot happen. He got the deflection and then he finished on the yeah, other end. That's what I'm saying. He, he can't beat you down the floor. 18 for Tyler Cook. Double figures in seven of eight. Herter trying to keep it alive in the rebound for Iowa and Wagner. Well, Cook was wide, wide open. open. We both said same time because we both wanted him to grab it. Oh, heartbreaking to sit and watch. I heard Fran say to Chris, very simply, yep. okay, that. Real quick, yeah, I gotta, I gotta sorry, do some business here. That he's working On the West so Coast. He's working hard, that's why he got it. He's working hard there. Go it's gonna be 9 Pacific time by the time I get this done. I love 8 15 <laughs> Eastern, UCLA, Arizona, then later on, number one, Gonzaga, home for BYU, trying to complete that <laughs> undefeated regular season and a foul called against Iowa. Two big games out west on ESPN tonight. Well, remember that. We're talking, and I talk a lot about basketball. I'm not ready to go home, but I love having too much fun here. This is a great building to watch a game. It in, is by a great. The, way. the student section is about as good as you're ever going to see, and and I love seeing team. I, I really like the Maryland team, as I said before, but I love seeing Iowa play like this. I haven't seen them play all year. A lot of it's got to do with the youth, but they're doing a terrific job. That's That's another great. three attempt by Maryland. Nickens couldn't hit, and the Terrapins are now at 25 three-point field goal attempts in the game. I just don't think they can win that way. I know they can break it open a little bit, get it going. But they can't win that way, in my opinion. And Iowa has shown that all day that they're willing to push the ball inside. The only thing I'm going to tell you, I would like Iowa to continue to run and don't try to stop the game now. By that, I mean slow the game down. Early offense. Yes, early offense, if nothing, move the basketball. But they're having so much success with, like that with early offense, they got to continue to do that. Christian Williams got a good look. He missed. And here's Mello Trimble. He's been passed first much of the evening and Maryland will keep. Yeah, I know I know he's trying to I know he's trying to involve his teammates, but in that case, pull up for the 15-foot jump shot. Good read from the top. You know, he watched all the way, saw the man behind him, and jumped the pass. Did a great job of jumping the pass. It's a good look at the passing lanes available. Exactly right. And that's what kids have got to do. Cowan aggressive and he draws the foul. I, I, he had to call that one because Cowan made the official call. Not only did he bang into the body, okay, verticality's okay here, but then the arms are coming down. Great job by Cowan. And they're going to need some of this kind of stuff. They're going to need more than the three point shot. Uh, foul against Hemsel, his first. And Cowan has actually been the more aggressive of the two, don't you think, tonight? Uh, oh, Cowan no and Trimble question. going to the rim? No question. Thirteen point game Maryland has lost four of six and two in a row Try to get win number 11 in the Big Ten to help itself come March We got a lifetime to play though Jock against Doc here Jock has been scoreless here in the second half Missed the fadeaway rebound for Maryland Maybe maybe Force the attack. You think? Yeah, well, he, he can shoot deep enough to make that shot. That might be a little bit of force. Cow in the kick. Jackson the miss. Nice rebound. Hemsel had it. Ewell knocked it free. I love the fact the officials are letting him play on the board, too, by the way. Stop and start, and Cowan called for the foul. <laughs> Iowa by 13. Some of the faces in our ball game. Stern. Frustrated, happy. Iowa mostly happy right now. Will Cinderella live for one more night?
This is it. Eight seconds to go. At the buzzer. Got it! He's got it! Oh my goodness! These guys won't give up. I know you watched that champ week quite a bit. When you were a coach, you knew you were gonna be a one or a two seed, and you were afraid of those teams with all the energy that might beat you, right? If we're gonna play Duke, it's gonna be a heck of a battle of those stuff. You're gonna play somebody as the great Alma Rye was at directional school, <laughs> you might be in trouble. And I was at Northeastern. I was at directional school. You were directional once. And a good one. <laughs> a great place, Northeastern. I know you have very fond memories uh, of coaching there. Yeah, great kids. Reggie Lewis, God rest his soul. Really enjoyed it. Maryland trailing by 13. Peter Jock driving nice. dish, uh, pencil, and a foul. That's why I see more than him in a jump shoot. Jock, that is. Yeah, you see, you know, he reminds me of Ding. He really does. He's a, that's a terrific bounce pass. He put it right in the pocket. Man just said, grab it and lay it in. Former high school golfer and baseball player Cordell Pemsel goes 0 for 1 from the line. I imagine he's looking at 300. Talking about his drive. Yeah. <laughs> big, that's yeah. a big golfer. That is a big, well, Dustin Johnson 6'6 six, six, and a freak athlete. They're getting bigger every day, it seems. Well, then you see Ricky Fowler, who's great. He can hit it pretty well. Good pass. Todd goes up high for it and finishes. Devontae Dodd has four. It's important. Not how they do this one from back, obviously. But it's very important, I think, right now for Maryland. I think there's a wet spot on okay. the floor here. Gene Steratore is over to look at it. Hi, Chris. Hey, during that last time out, Coach Turgeon was going over some plays with his guys, and then he points, and he said, I want you guys to look over there. He's looking at the clock. At that time, 11 minutes, 38 seconds. He says, look, guys, we still have so much time to get back in this thing. Keep your heads up. Like you said, Coach, lifetime, right? You have a lifetime. The longer you coach, a minute can be, you know, like a year sometimes. Best and comeback you ever saw in person. In person? Yeah, we treated Fairfield one time by uh, six at Fairfield at Northeastern and, and one by one. Late? Pretty late? Uh, 12 seconds. Whoa. Two interceptions to layups. Timeout. Uh, Three-point play. <laughs> you can't be getting people fired like that. That's not very nice. Actually. It wasn't very nice. Perry Moss made the play, so remember. He made two of those, uh, five of those points. Eight to shoot. Peter Jock coils into it. You like this? You know what I'm saying? Woo. That's what I see in him, though. I see he's going to be a terrific shooter. And is a very good shooter. But as his body gets stronger, he puts it down the deck. He has a good IQ. And he's got great enthusiasm for the game. Young man who came over from the Sudan. Ended up playing at Valley High School in Des Moines for former Hawkeye Jeff Horner. That's a travel, it looked like, for Brantley. It has to be so. You can't leave your feet and come down with it. Evidently today. I guess that, once again, we talk about the European step. Did they get a new name for that? It was uh, the multi-continental step. <laughs> yeah. So Iowa up 16, by the way, with 9.45 yeah. to go. It's, it's, it's not nerve time. It is for, for Mark Phil. He wants his team to stop playing better to get a chance. Iowa 13 out of 19 from three. Shot clock ready to expire, and Maryland gets the steal. Brantley leading the break. Trimble had it knocked away. I like the no call. You do? Yeah, because the man was there. Williams is hooked and fouled. It's on Devontae Don, and it's his fourth. Mark Turgeon might need a new jacket. It just went away. He is frustrated on the sideline. He wanted it both ways, Coach. He did. And, and, but the only thing I'm going to tell you, the contact was clearly on Trimble. I mean, and he hit him right in the middle of the chest. I don't think the man's arms extended down. It's easier sitting here, obviously. So Williams to the free throw line. And he misses the front end. This is an opportunity for Maryland here. The Terrapins are a game back in the loss column with the defeat by Purdue at the hands of Michigan earlier. And Maryland has a pretty easy road comparatively to that Big Ten title, but they really would, would love to have this one. As a coach, easier. You start missing foul shots, I, I, once again, I see, I see the scoreboard too. But it's, it's, it's not that outrageous where it is. 16 points, 9 minutes. Trimble cuts into it. 
Two missed foul shots and three a five point play. Five points fast, play. Damn it. It's a lifetime. <laughs> I'm interested to see how he continues to attack. He's got him. Cook went high low with Jock, and they're going to call him for a clear out. In my opinion, KG you have what I call a makeup call, and after the play, which is questionable, uh, he took the question out of the call and hit down the air, so we got both guys. Once again, it had to be something there. He didn't make the call up. He just enforced a foul as opposed to the other one. In a game that's been pretty Rug open. Rugged. <laughs> yeah. yeah. See if Cowan can get by. Here is Cowan picking his spot. He nearly traveled too. He did travel. And it's Iowa ball. By the way, much better defense. Cowan seems a little out of control. Nothing to do with being a freshman, just out of control. That's a lot of threes, coach. It's unbelievable. I think it's too much. Once again, they're not getting the ball. They're not getting anything inside. I truly understand the frustration that Mike's going through. Sometimes you say, we have to do this. Yeah, but the guys in there aren't doing this, coach. How about this? You see all those threes and then 13 turnovers as well. You're bound to get some live ball action out of missed threes, right? And especially against a team like Iowa, who's going to run out they one of those turnovers. Peter Jock. Herter walls him off. Ten to shoot. That's a good play by Herter, by the way. Off the drive. Oh, boy, has Cook had a day. I love Cook. I'll tell you why. I had that shot. Not quite as high, sitting on left handed. <laughs> no. We need to get footage of that, by the way. Well, somewhere. <laughs> my, my point is, though, that's a terrific shot. It's, it's very difficult. Almost impossible to block. Beautifully done by Cook. 20 oh. points, 8 for 12 from the floor. Trimble. No. Gill went up for the rebound. And let's see. I think it's a foul. And it's going to go against Jock Herder. Had the, Jock had the ball, didn't he? Yeah, I think they've got Herder on the foul into the corner. Great hustle on both teams. 15-point game for Iowa, under eight. Since 1880, this has been the Maryland State flag. First flown on October the 11th of 1880. But never flown like this back then with a giant crowd at a basketball game. I want to play a game, Coach. You ready to play a game? Yeah, well, very clear. there was a hesitation, yeah, some a concern. Bit. I want to ask you who the Big Ten Player of the Year is, but you don't get to know who the names are, okay? Points, field goals, three-point percentage is all you get. You want one, two, or three? I would vote the team that wins a championship. No, 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 no. No, 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 but that's what I'm going Everybody's different. <laughs> I know it's not supposed to be most valuable, but that's how I always vote. But these are the stats you're given. That's I'll all you it. get. Okay. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to take uh, Jock. No, no, no. You you have to pick one of the three. He's a 21 points again. You can't say I know. I remember the stats. <laughs> you can't even play a game with you. You hate losing so much. Here's the thing. Right? If, I, they, if they put you on let's make a deal with Monty Hall, you'd say, Monty, I'll take the car. Exactly. You can't do that. I want you to call my wife, Pat. She'll tell you, I do not play these games unless I know I'm going to win. That's when I'm coaching. So you're going to take Peter Jones. Oh, 21 points no. a game. It's amazing what's happening. That's amazing. No, Alex, actually, I'll take whichever one the Daily Double is. Exactly. But, but more importantly, I'm serious about this. I just think the kid that leads his team to a championship, okay? Yep. yep. That's the guy we should be. He, he was the most valuable player in the league because he led his team to a championship. No matter who it is. Well, yeah. He, that one the the stats have to, you know. In the same ball play. Herder! Boy, they miss him. And, and, and I, I just think I, I, I'd be frustrated because I'm not sure they've got right now that, that Maryland's got an inside answer. They're taking 33. Exactly. Cook off the spin and he draws the foul against Gill. By the way, but I know they do. <laughs> they have an inside answer. Cook is absolutely magnificent tonight. And I love the bounce pass up to the post so he didn't have to bring the ball down. Ready to set, good spin, got two shots. Why is that so valuable for a post? Well, because if he has to go down and get I can I can bump him from behind, get him off base. If he catches in the stride, he's got a good basketball stance. 
You don't want a opposed man to have to bend to get it. You want him to get in, in position to score. So you're saying just for the way he's positioned, Wait, well, it's he important. Said he's, he's posted. He's got his legs bent, squatting, using his butt to, to establish his position. If I have to get down and get it, or I have to go way up to get it, I want it right here, okay, if it bounces up close to my chest. Well done. I'll tell you what. For the first time I looked up. You think time slipping away? Time not, not slipping away yet, but definitely a factor. You don't want to go a couple of uh, neutral trips here. You, you can't have negative trips. You don't have to hurry, but it's got to play quick. And Mellow dribble. So far tonight, just 3 of 11, coach. Unbelievable. Coming off a 32 point game. He had 20 in the first meeting. One of 12, 20 plus points. By the way, games. he's not even close right now. He's taking a lot of threes. He has taken a lot of threes. Do you gain some confidence as a guard when you get to the rim? When you see the ball going in the basket, that's a good thing. Any player. Bohannon got away from Trimble and got it. He's talking. <laughs> Just reminding the guy who's got them. That's a freshman, right? Yeah, against you know Mellow Trimble. Wow. 24 for Bohan and 8 for 9 from 3. This place is shocked. I'll tell you what it is. It's quiet. For a place that's packed, it's quiet. Bohannon for Williams. Iowa willing to take some time. Bear followed his shot. Bear scores! He's going to call timeout. I don't know if I've been here with Maryland to hear that uh, negative sound from its home fans. That's Bear, but this may be the albatross on Maryland's schedule. Wow. You know, I... I, I, I it seems right now, second half they came out, they started to establish themselves inside. Game didn't get closer, but we got within 12 reasonable. And right now it's not reasonable. And it's going to take a miraculous finish for anything to happen. It, I just, sometimes you just don't understand kids. And uh, I think they, they've fallen in love with the three. Well, you shouldn't fall in love with something that's not good to you. <laughs> it doesn't return the favor. You're kind of like nice, you know, you have a good marriage, <laughs> good to each other. In this case, the three-point shot's not good for us now, though. We're not going to open them up. There's only five minutes to go in the game. We have to try to do something. doesn't mean you, if you're naked, you devoid it. But How about you, that you've number? You've got to do something. 24 combined threes, most in a Big Ten game this year, and Bohannon has one-third of those. Wow. Herder flaring into Dodd for two. That's a good start. That's what you should be doing. I'm sure Mox wanted to do that before, by the way. So my question to you is, where does this come from with Iowa? Why are the Hawkeyes then seven and eight in the league? I don't know. Well, because I mean, a couple of games they've lost, so I the game to get off to an awful start if you remember correctly. Jackson lost the ball, tried to tip it back in, and it's Iowa basketball. Crowd thought Trimble got fouled, and Mark Turgeon is going ballistic on the sideline. I'll tell you what, Gene must look to the score, too, in the sense that he knows he's frustrating. She's not hitting him, which I think is a great move. Just exactly. having the restraint. Yeah, well, there's no sense. I mean, he knows Gene. He's going to yell at anything right now. The team's not playing with him. You're saying you did that, maybe? Occasionally. Bohanna to find, and that just slipped out of the hand, it looked like, of Cook. And he definitely had a reason to be upset. We both agree. You know, there's no question he had a reason to be upset. It's, he just pushed him out of bounds. I think he didn't like the Trimble oh, hit yeah. on the sideline earlier, too. I think it was both. And that's going to be a hold down low against Maryland. I'll tell you what, the only thing I would say, and once again, it's the coach speaking, I'm not quite so sure that I want to quit relatively quick threes. For Iowa. For Iowa, I, you know, I, I don't see any purpose for it. Call is a double foul officially here, and here's the replay. Iowa's Tyler Cook, who's third person in seventh. Who's the double pilot? <laughs> <laughs> what, what part of the double did I miss? I mean, 
you know, well, it, was, it wasn't a cheap shot. The was, tough news for Maryland is Dodds fouled out. I got okay. I, ju I just think that was kid got his, his uh, elbow in the guy's up in the guy's shoulder and neck and it, it's not it, it's a politician's call late in the game 20 point game. That's the only thing I could think of because these guys are too good to call it. I, that didn't look like a double fault. To me. Remember in the Purdue Indiana game a couple of weeks ago there was a double foul out. Exactly. Poor timing. Dodd was not terribly effective. Six points, six rebounds, early foul trouble in the first half, neutralized him this evening. So you're saying take some time. Here take some time. I want more moves. I don't like you know like some teams that, that do a lot of pounding the ball and setting up uh, condensed offenses. The reason they don't rebound because they're not moving. It's hard to go from uh, stopping to starting. I always try to get my team some moves as much as they can just so we rebound. Them. Bear, corner, yes! Hello, hello. My goodness. Take it from you. My goodness. I would have to say the clock is no factor right now. You think I was the only factor? I think I was really good. Bender puts in two. I mean, this is a very impressive, at least. Five six of a win right now for Iowa. They come in with a 90 BPI, so the tournament is not likely for the Hawkeyes. But if they get hot in the Big Ten tournament, who knows? You get to the championship game, win another game too. A lot of things can happen. We both know that. We're talking about for the game. The bubble's not great this year. Bad pass. Too low. Had to leap for it. Herder for Cowan. Open. Got it. So uh, 17. Under three to go. Yeah, I might not even think about shooting until it's right now. Take one big chunk out. When do you start fouling if you're Maryland? Not now. Because it's going to be a foul shooting contest and they're a good foul shooting team. Iowa. 70% for the year, but Peter Jock is the best of the Big Ten, and Bohannon is very good as well. Here's Jock curling. Bear got in the fray, couldn't come up with it. Herder ahead, Peach ball handed to the rim. Oh, it's 15 now, 2.20 to go. The hardest thing you have to do is going from when you're playing forward to stop. Well, sometimes when you stop and go slow motion to kill the clock, you also kill your momentum. 26 threes already in this game. 56 taken, more to come. Outstanding games on the West Coast tonight on ESPN. Don't have East Coast bias tonight. Sit and watch these games. UCLA, Arizona, two top five teams, 8-15 Eastern on ESPN. Then undefeated Gonzaga, 10-15 Eastern from the Kennel in Spokane. We've both been there to watch. A dandy of a place to see a college basketball game, and Gonzaga has been outstanding this year. Still unbeaten. You can find those games on the ESPN app and watch ESPN as well as on ESPN. All right, Maryland's got 15 points to recover in 205. Maybe more. Ellingson. Yep. <laughs> that was a perfect kill the clock. Penetration. Back to a cut. Kick it to the open three. Iowa is 16 of 24 from three-point range. That's pretty good stuff. <laughs> and then some. I mean, they've played terrific. This is when I would beat Iowa State early. And they're good, you know, but this is find a way to get some play. We were talking about the teams that could possibly make a run in the Big Ten tournament. I always got to be on that list right now, right? Well, yeah, because this is a team that can make a run in the uh, NCAA tournament to play on their floor. Iowa killing some time. I, I like what they're doing. I like how they're doing. The motion, out. right? Yes. Now they've got more guys moving. Just having one guy for them. It's hard to get people moving than have it. Bohannon for Bear. Stepping back a little bit, that's what that's what he's making. 103 to go. One minute, Cowan extra one pass, minute. Jackson. Even the open looks for Maryland have not no, fallen exactly. when they've needed him. And by the way, that building. It is just about silent. Yeah, I mean, your motion keep these home games, you only get so many. Give all the credit to this one. 
not to what Maryland didn't do, what to Iowa did. What are you most impressed with yeah, for Iowa? Yeah, toughness. They're not an inside grind out banging team. You know what they did? Inside grind out banging team. And then, of course, once they try to adjust to that, three point, three point, three point. We might have to take that last possession for Iowa down the road to the Smithsonian. No. Bohannon missed a three. No question. I mean, this is pretty special. Jordan Bohannon, eight for ten from three point range, 24 points, a career high from three. Iowa puts the hurt on Maryland the day they honor the 2002 national champions. A 14 point win for the Hawkeyes. How about it, coach? Well, it's impressive. I mean, as I said, they came in early, looked like they were going to get beat and down the floor. Second, they were going to get beat in the paint. Third, they were going to keep getting dunks up inside. And then they go zone. All of a sudden, they come out halfway through the first half, and they're a different team. They go inside, Cook. I thought going to Cook changed the whole game. Defensively, a walled up to stop the penetration. Zone to stop the penetration. And then down the other end, wonderful, wonderful job. Wonderful job. 21 for Tyler Cook as we check in with Chris and Fran McCaffrey. Thanks, Jason. What did it take from your guys to come in here? Such a tough place to play and win by 14. I thought it was a combination of things. I don't think you can point at one thing. I thought we really shared the ball. I thought we played with great cohesion at both ends. You've got to be connected defensively, especially if you're going to play that much zone. We rebounded the ball. We had a mixture of, of post-ups, drives, and threes. We obviously shot the ball well from three, but I just thought that we really were together. Talk to me about Bo Hannon, an Iowa kid, ties to the school with his dad, to be able to come out here and play the way that he did today. You know what's amazing? You know, we sent him to the hospital yesterday. We thought he had a broken finger. <laughs> so, you know, maybe you should break the other one. I don't know. He was he was awesome tonight in so many ways. Obviously, he'll be remembered for the shots that he made. But for me, it's always the toughness and the leadership. Be honest with me. Last question: If I had told you, you came in here and won, and Jock only scored 11 points, what would you have said? Well, I would have said, you know what? He's going to be a guy that we can count on to move the ball and be a team guy because they're so focused on him. That's what he has to be. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Jason. Chris, thank you. Those threes that Fran McCaffrey was talking about, 16 for Iowa, 11 for Maryland, but maybe too many shots, Coach, from the Terrapins. I thought you were way too many threes. Yeah. So 11 for 34 for Maryland, 16 of 26 for Iowa from three-point range. Well, this guy, Jason, yep. she just kept she, 10 more. <laughs> they kept on going in. And I told you, quick release allows the ball to go in because he's shot ready. The guy you're talking about, Jordan Bohannon, will join us coming back after this. That's one of eight makes for the freshman Jordan Bohannon. He'll talk to us when we come back.